Hello, I'm Stephen Kirby from Unchurch University, and here we're today we're going to discuss the key aspects of integration. So integration recognizes that a psychedelic experience, again, doesn't end when the effects of the medicine or the substance wear off. Rather, it continues as the individual reflects on and tries to make meaning of the experiences, right? So this process can involve a range of activities such as self-reflection, as you could imagine, uh, therapy, artistic expression, movement, journaling, or engaging in really any practice that's going to promote uh, mindfulness and self-care. Key aspects of psychedelic integration from our perspective, right? There's lots of different ways to approach this, but these are some of the key aspects. So if you are considering stepping into a psychedelic experience and you've set up an integration session, these are some of the key aspects of it. Number one is would be the reflection and understanding. And this is when we're taking the time to reflect on the thoughts, emotions, and insights that we felt or that arose during our psychedelic experience. Number two is incorporation into daily life. And that's just the, essentially finding ways to take these lessons, apply these lessons learned or perspectives gained from the psychedelic journey into everyday life and everyday situation, right? It's not just having this intellectual information. I should be more mindful. Great. You, you, you got that insight. How do you do it? How do you actually do it? That's the integration process. Um, another aspect could be therapeutic support, seeking guidance from mental health professionals if that's needed, uh, or even therapist experience in psychedelic integration or psychedelic integration specialists like myself, again, to help navigate the complex emotions and experiences. Um, community engagement. This can't be, uh, we can't talk about this enough. The community, connecting with the community of individuals who have, again, similar experiences, either through support groups or integration circles or just community um, circles that you have locally. This allows so much. One, it um, normalizes the potential experience that you had because they've had very similar experiences. They can support you in the experience. There's so much that can come out of this community engagement. And what I find is just having the community, if we looked at all aspects of this and all six of these um, aspects of psychedelic integration are vital, I think that community engagement is the bubble that you can put around all of them that really create this environment for, for, for serious growth. Uh, number five, obviously, mindfulness and self-care practices. And I, maybe I shouldn't say obvious. As the work that I've been doing, mindfulness is a key component of that. Because what I've learned through these psychedelic experiences, I could have all these visions. I could have all these insights. The only truth in life, from my perspective, is this moment. This second. This present moment is all that's real. I can only experience this present moment by being present, and that's mindfulness, right? The past, all the past happened in the present moment. All the future is gonna happen in the present moment. So understanding how to identify and be comfortable with this present moment is a massive uh, key aspect of psychedelic integration, in my opinion, and something as an integration specialist, I put the most emphasis, uh, maybe not the most emphasis, but I put a heavy emphasis on being able to be present in the moment. And then finally, setting intentions for potential future journeys. Some folks have one psychedelic or entheogenic experience, and that's all they want or need. That's perfect. Some folks take integration lessons from past journeys by setting intentions and preparing for future experiences. So again, from a psychedelic integration aspect, if I'm going to do this medicine again, and some therapeutic protocols have uh, designated that three journeys or two journeys or four journeys, feels to be the right amount of journeys. And obviously that's an individual basis. But again, an aspect of your integration is potentially setting intentions for the future journeys based on that current experience. So overall, psychedelic integration, it's a holistic approach to assimilating this profound and often transformative elements of the psychedelic experience into one's life, fostering personal development, and fostering and promoting positive change. So again, in closing, integration, taking insight, creating a plan to put them into action equals integration. I hope you found that helpful. If you do, please consider joining our psychedelic um, integration specialist course starting in January. This class is designed for therapists or regular individuals like myself that just have a compassion and a desire to help people take these psychedelic experiences and make the most of them. How do we help somebody take a, a profound and life-altering psychedelic experience and, and multiply the power of the healing through these integrative modalities? If you're interested, click the link below. would love to see you in class. Thank you again for taking some time.